Hi folks, welcome to my channel and day 16 of the Inktober 2018 Art Challenge. My name's Sarah and I'm posting a video every day throughout the month of October. And I'm working on an animal themed Inktober again this year and I'm following the official prompt list from Jake Parker. Today's prompt is angular and I've decided to draw an eagle with an angular beak and my aim for today's painting was simply to have fun. If you're following along with the challenge, we're over halfway now and I thought I'd celebrate by easing back on my own expectations, loosening up and quite literally getting my hands dirty. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and consider subscribing if you're new to my channel and hit the bell icon as well if you don't want to miss out on future videos. So I'm using Dr. PH Martin's coloured Bombay India inks today and began by putting in a loose background using the wet on wet technique and some diluted black ink. Then I worked on the eagle's eye using a very small round paintbrush to pop some colour in first and then dropped in a tiny bit of black ink onto the wet centre part of the eye so it could bleed a bit to create a nice effect for the pupil and I finished off by outlining the outer eyelid with my Pigma Micron waterproof fineliner. For the beak I laid down some yellow ink first and then added golden yellow and yellow ochre on top before going in with some brown ink for the shaded area on the underside of the beak. I also used a cotton bud and they're really handy just to lift really small detailed areas free of paint and take away any excess water. I also added a small amount of blue ink whilst the area was still wet and mixed in with that yellow it did create a sort of a, a light green colour which was similar to that on the reference picture. So with the more detailed areas mapped out it was time to get messy and have some fun. So to start with I applied some black ink onto a cotton bud and use this on dry paper to add some texture to the darker feathers on the eagle's head. I then added some water, some more black ink and used my finger to spread the ink in a sweeping motion outwards, kind of following the direction of the feathers. And this was a lot of fun and a bit different. I didn't know if it would work out or how the finished painting would turn out either, but it made a change. And I got the idea for doing this from watching a video here on YouTube and that was all about loosening up your watercolours, though I can't actually remember who it was but nonetheless I thought it was worth a try and it did produce some interesting results. So where I'd pulled the ink with my fingernail and my finger there was almost some sort of darker areas where my nail had dug into the paper and it gave a really interesting texture. So I don't know if any of you are taking part in the Inktober challenge but I've been starting to feel the pressure a bit this week and I think it's partly because I like to push myself often beyond what is realistic. So there is part of me that wants for every day's painting to be an improvement on the previous day and another more sensible part of me which knows that that's not a realistic goal and the main thing is to paint something and to have fun. So breaking it up a bit and doing something different today is a way to force myself out of that feeling and take away high expectations and pressure but still create something. So it might not be the best eagle I'll ever paint but then I never expected it to be right from the start and it's given me a bit of a break and given me a chance to recharge for the second half of the month. And quite often when you remove the pressure and the worry you find that you paint better or at least sometimes if your expectations are low you are more likely to be pleasantly surprised with the results. And this eagle painting didn't actually turn out too badly. I did like the way the eye turned out and really enjoyed the way I could quite quickly tackle the feathers which would normally have taken me quite a lot longer. I think another good thing about trying something a bit looser and more spontaneous is that you tend to take a step back more and quite literally so. 
So you tend to view your piece from further back and this can be a good thing. So rather than working very closely over the top of your painting, you may stand at a bit of a distance and in this way I was able to tell more quickly what areas of the eagle needed more attention. So I added some darker ink to the feathers around the eye and on the neck area. So when those areas were mainly mapped out and I'd got the contrast that I was after, I just went in with my small paintbrush and added a few more details to areas like the beak and then also went in with some neat black ink and added some individual feathers and of course some splatters. If you're doing Inktober let me know how you're getting on with it. Have you got any hints and tips for how to get through any rough areas or areas where you're feeling the pinch and the stress a little bit? If you have then don't forget you can pop them in the comments and they might help anyone else out as well as me. So now all that's left to do is add a little bit of white gel pen and a few more fine details and I think I was pretty happy with how it turned out in the end. One thing I would be aware of next time is perhaps to leave a lot more white of the paper, certainly on the top of his head I think I possibly got a bit carried away with my um, cotton bud but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up, a comment and subscribe to my channel and I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.